it's the 100th anniversary of Stonehenge being given to the nation. And there's a series of events happening around it and I've helped organise some of them, which are, in no particular order, access to the stones being more. You can go up this route and get much closer to the stones than usual. Some modern music or contemporary music being played. The inflatable Stonehenge sacrilege is at the visitor centre and there's a cake, a scale model cake. Stonehenge is a great sort of image of British identity, but it's still a mystery and I think that's good. And it's something that as an artist you kind of you can play with the image of it and the ideas around it, which are, we'll never really know what it, what happened here. So it's a big open space to work in, and that's appealing. I commissioned Matt Rogers to make a piece of sort of very atmospheric music to be performed in the stones that has a sort of mysterious, unsettling atmosphere to it. Basically, we're not trying to make out that it was kind of music would have been performed at the time because we have no idea what was what happened there but it, it's just an attempt to make something that's a bit um, slightly more avant-garde than some of the other things that are, that are happening here. Sacrilege is the, is the inflatable structure, it's a scale model of Stonehenge, it's a bit smaller, it's been all over the world, it's been all over Britain and finally it gets to come to to be at Stonehenge. To be honest, the reaction of the public is always the same wherever you are in the world. It's just pure enjoyment. Well, Stonehenge was a place that people always tried to get to for solstice. Obviously, for thousands of years, it was a very special time. And during the traveller movement, or during the certainly during the 70s and the 80s, it became a, a place to get to for often big parties. The police wanted to prevent these parties because they probably might be damaging to the stones. And Stonehenge plays a part in this film I made about British rave and dance music culture because it, that movement of travellers was really given a lot of fuel by techno music. It really attracted people to the, you know, the traveller movement and peace convoys and so on. It really helped articulate it and attracted people to the parties and to the lifestyle. In as much as it's not a building, it's a structure, it's a, it's a piece of maybe public art or a space that the public went to, then it has that idea around it. I mean, it's not art as such, but it has this use and obviously a place of pilgrimage, which it still is, as you can see today.